Have you ever been told to use filler words like, like, um, you know? Maybe these words creep in when you're nervous or when you're around certain people. If so, it's possible you may be suffering from filler word syndrome. Filler word syndrome. Uh, yeah, I just made that up. But don't worry, today I'm breaking down my top three filler control tips. I've been teaching these to CEOs and other leaders over the past 20 years. I've seen them change the game for how people communicate. But first, let's take a sip together. Today I'm drinking Italian roast coffee. Delicious. We've all been there. Sometimes in a meeting you get asked an unexpected question. As your mind searches for something to say, your mouth starts moving. And if you were listening to a recording of that, you would find that your response sounded like, yeah, it had some ums and uhs in it, because that's human nature. That's how it is. Or maybe you've been on the receiving end, listening to someone give a presentation that is like littered with, I just said like, ums and uhs and you knows. It's distracting and it's also frustrating. Filler words are killer words because filler words make people think you lack confidence, which reduces your credibility. Filler words distract people from what you're really trying to say. So people start tuning you out. And filler words can even make you look less intelligent. So how can you learn to control these filler words? Here are three positive tips and a couple of practice exercises to help you control your filler phrases. Tip number one is develop your awareness. It starts with recognizing the problem. Many people don't even realize that they're using too many filler words. Once I was coaching the president of a large Fortune 500 company, I sat in the audience and I was sitting there listening to him talk to employees, all their employees, for 20 minutes. I counted 46 times he said, right? Right? When I told him this afterwards, he didn't recall saying one of them. To bring this to a person's consciousness, I've used this simple method for many years. I have someone record the person on their phone while they're counting the number of filler words. When the person hears themselves speaking it, it can be shocking, but it helps them to finally realize that they have a big problem with filler words. You have to recognize the issue before you can ever solve the problem with filler words. My second tip is slow down. Learn to become comfortable with a moment of silence. We often use filler words as a crutch to avoid silence. When you're under pressure, a pause can feel like an eternity. But it's not. A pause after a point gets the attention of your audience and allows them to take in what you said. It lets them catch up with you and take a breath and get ready for your next idea. A pause also gives you a chance to think, which is my third point. Think before you speak. Some scientists theorize that we blurt out answers to questions because when we were kids, that's just what we had to do. We had to answer a question from an adult or teacher or a parent immediately, so we gave them fast, unfiltered responses. As adults, we have to be more diplomatic. Sometimes we feel like we have to be perfect. So that's when filler words start to creep in. To counter this, I coach my clients to do these three things in this order. Pause, think, speak. It may sound like I'm being funny or simplistic, but too many of us don't do this. Most people skip a pause and they start speaking while they're thinking, hoping that their minds are gonna catch up with their mouths. And then bang, here come those filler words. Again, just pause and think and then speak. Like anything else, filler words really are just a habit that you formed over time. You can stop your filler words by creating a habit that's a new one for you. And that takes practice. So here are two exercises you can use to help create a new habit to control your filler words. Practice exercise one is answer questions from a friend. Try this with someone you trust. Put your phone on record and have the person ask you any questions they want. Pause as long as you need to, think of your answer, and then speak. At first, you may be pausing like, I don't know, 30 or 40 seconds. After a while using this method, you will train your mind to follow this pattern and the pauses will grow shorter. Your thinking will grow clearer and faster and your speaking will be stronger and more confident. My second practice exercise is called My Eyes Spy. This is another exercise I've used successfully with my clients which you can do by yourself. It's kind of like that kid's game. Uh, 
I spy with my little eyes. So just find an object wherever you are and talk about it for 30 seconds. Again, record yourself on your phone. Try this, like spot a random object like your coffee cup and just start talking about it for 30 seconds. I couldn't resist. You can say whatever you want, but no filler words. If you have to pause, that's okay. But keep talking about that thing. Keep doing that with other objects too around the room. You can do it at the office, at home, or anywhere. Keep practicing and you'll notice your language will begin to flow more and more smoothly. To recap, my three tips are develop your awareness, slow down, and think before you speak. Now think about yourself. Are you prone to using filler words? Or does someone you know use them and annoy you to no end? It takes courage to tell someone they suffer from filler word syndrome. Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to like this video. I mean, if you like this video, just go ahead and also smash the subscribe button and click that little bell. Ding! That way, I'll see you back here next time for more Coffee with John.